Welcome back ladies and gents, welcome back to another video on the channel. So today we're going to be looking at the OBS shader filter. <laughs> OBS shader filter plugin. And we're going to get me T. So let's just get to show you what, what it can do. Uh, right, let me press the button again. Right, so first off we're going to go to the OBS uh obs forums web resources and the shader filter plugin we're going to drop the link in the description as well as always go to the download leave it downloaded in. Yeah, there you go and it's just eight ten versions of it now so we're going to delete that one um basically open it up like you would do any other one obs studio copy the data and the obs plugin paste it in um OBS Studio folder, placing the data and the plugins, and you are good to go. So obviously, with OBS closed, like we've said many times in the latest videos, that's what you do. Right, into OBS we go. So, I've got an example. We're going to use my very overly exposed webcam at the moment. Uh, anyway, we're not going to worry about that. So, if you've installed it correctly, when you go to filters, be able to have a section called uh, define shaders. This section here, we're just going to call it test, where we can add all different types of shader effects uh, to your camera. So to do it, you press load shader from text file, browse, and it should take you directly into this. Um, we have done an example in one of the previous videos with rounded corners, uh, and that helps with your camera border and stuff like that. There are loads, loads, and loads of them. So these effects can be used for uh, all kinds of things. I have done it in the past. Zoom blur one. Uh, once you get change some of the settings, you can switch it. it. And you can just get creative with these, and you can make certain things happen. And with the with the like a um, streamer bot. Then you can do even more stuff, uh, or even Lior on board. You can trigger these filters with it. Let's have a look at a few that are quite popular, and I've seen quite a bit of in the past, and I have used as well. So um, we've got a fish I want. So it can make quite a good effect. <coughs> that with we might even do a video on the fish I want itself, um, but use that along with a like the move value. Streamerbot or the Orange Board or Beatbot trigger these so you can have that on your camera. No idea. Um, uh, again, you can, you can play around with the um, slider input, or you can get some really trippy. But <laughs> that's a bit extreme, so you don't want to go too too much on on some of them. They are exceptionally trippy. Anyway. Uh, another one, one of I've seen, uh, drop shadow. Some of them I will prefix with the fact that they can be CPU intensive. Um, so this adds a little drop shadow. The outside you can select the color, the effect. So, for example, for make it blur a bit more, a little bit drop frames. Um, and it's in a little bit, so just be aware of how much you want it to, especially if you've got not a very, uh, have a lot of people's availability of them. So, they, um, have on, but yeah, that can be quite a good one, but again, just be wary that it can be, um, expensive. Well, Rainbow, I love this. Because at the moment it looks like it does absolutely apart from fill up your whole scene with it. <laughs> but but you can apply it to the image and say you have a raid or you have um or a sub sub and then you link that in with something like I say streamer bot or go on board. Not quite yet with BQ bot because I know it can't trigger it for Certain events yet. I mean, um, so yeah, it, here you go. You can do all the 
this is like one of the most used ones I think. There's so much fun on an item. You can any sort of you can do it on text, you can do it on whatever you want. I've I have done it on text in the past as well. You can give it a nice trippy fit effect even. <laughs> anyway. Um let's have another look. So all you gotta do is get these and just play around with them. So I think Oh. oh wow so there you go you can uh, if you get the right amount some are very trippy and interesting anyway <laughs> But find ones that work for you. There are, like I say, there's quite a few. There's a frosted glass shader. <coughs> so you could look like you, you could fade this in. So I don't know. Have that there. Value. Fade it in. Like behind the glass. Or. And. Oh. Go to extreme sometimes. <laughs> Uh, let's... I know I keep saying it just play around with it experiment um, the best way with a lot of stuff in OBS is how I've learned a lot of stuff finding what to do uh, let's have a look for one more Uh, glass shade again. Glass, there you go. Glass one. Half a percent. You can way up. Yeah, quite. A, that's an interesting effect. So, not gonna lie, that's an interesting one. Um, one more. One more. Let's have a look. Um, uh, fish shader. There you go. That's a power. Depends on where it is. Cause... Not all of them are. Not all are bangers. I will say some of them are um, different. There you go. VHS shader. I know. I know. Definitely. I know some people use. Well. Uh, Anyway, I could play around with these all day long, and I've been before I was on on the on the stream on stream the video streaming. Anyway, just check it out. I just suggest if you want to do some weird and wonderful, crazy effects, uh, you can combine them as well. Depends on how you do stack them. Um, well, play around and experiment. That's all I can say. Anyway, ladies and gents. Let's have a get. Where are we going to put it? Remember, this is going to test me where I look at the video at the end of the bit. Am I going to go? Here. Yeah, look, look, we'll go here. That's where the, the, the playlist will be. Playlist will be. All right? Now, if it's not, call me out on it. All right? Call me out on it. Tell me in the, uh, in the comments. All right? Catch you on the next one later. Yeah.